good Tuesday morning, everyone. A cold start, but temperatures pretty typical for this time of the year. You may want to allow a couple extra minutes to scrape that frost off your car this morning. 25, the current temperature in Lima, and 25 degrees in Elida. We have 24 in Delphus and 24 degrees right now in Waynesville. Temperatures, as you can see, generally running in the mid-20s this morning with a bit of a wind chill. Wind chills right now in the middle teens. It feels like 16 degrees currently here in Lima. So our forecast stays fairly quiet today. We're going to continue to see partly sunny skies. So if you enjoyed the sunshine yesterday, be sure to enjoy it today. And we're also going to see a bit of a warming trend. Uh, breeze will start to pick up today out of the south. It's that south wind component that really ushers in that warmer air. And you notice tonight when we see these isobars, these white lines on the on the weather map here, when those are stacked pretty close together, that is certainly an indication of some strong wind gusts. And we're going to see that tonight. And the winds are going to stay breezy for us tomorrow as this low tracks across the Great Lakes. It's going to drag a cold front through here. And that is set to bring in the colder air tomorrow. So temperatures are going to tumble and fall throughout today on Wednesday, bringing a few flurries possibly as well. And as we head into Thursday, the cold air, it's locked in place. It's going to be a very cold one for us on Thursday. We'll track a system developing to our south, a winter storm across parts of Kentucky going up towards the east coast eventually. Right now, as you can see, the models are really showing the stain mainly to the south of us towards southern parts of Ohio. Now, I think we could get some snow showers Thursday, but the bulk of the action right now Sorry, snow lovers, looks to stay to our south. Of course, we'll fine tune this. These things do have a tendency to shift further northwest as we get closer. So this may still shift some, but right now not looking so good for the snow lovers wanting that snow. Right now, little to no snow accumulation in the forecast for now. As we look at the winds, they're going to pick up as we head throughout today, gusting around 20 miles per hour. But it's while you're sleeping tonight, we'll have gusts around 35 miles per hour and gusting up to 40 miles per hour throughout today on Wednesday. And looking at temperatures, I, I mentioned how we're going to see a bit of a warming trend today in the upper 30s. And we'll hold fairly steady tonight into the 30s. And then tomorrow, we're going to see a, a temperatures fall hour by hour here by noon on Wednesday upper 20s and by late afternoon lower to mid 20s and because of all the wind that we just talked about you can imagine what that will do to the wind chill temperature that will be the big story heading into Wednesday night wind chills tomorrow by the afternoon in the lower teens and eventually by 5 p.m. on Wednesday we're down to 7 degrees for the feels like temperature in Lima and heading in a Thursday morning just praise for the coldest air we felt all season it's going to feel below zero area wide. So again, just brace for the changes coming our way. Boy, tomorrow 36 degrees, but that's an early day high. We could see a few flurries around as well. 14 degrees for Thursday morning, 22 for the high on Thursday. Uh, some afternoon and evening snow showers, but again, mainly to the south. We'll watch the track to see if that does shift at all. Friday 23, but we'll see some sunshine to end the week. Sunshine on Saturday 39. And a pretty big warm up here Sunday 42 degrees as the next cold front comes in bring some showers and then we're back to the cold once again so again we are seeing a little bit more of a January like forecast here with temperatures back to the 20s early next week whoever thought 42 would feel good right I know right it feels like summer that's a heat wave all right